Hi guys, Brad here. I am with Brothers RC and we noticed on YouTube we had a lot of views of our truck and trailer so we thought we'd do a quick overview of the trailer we built. It is still a work in progress so don't be too hard on us. Um, as you can see uh, we got plastic wheels that came from our local hobby store. Uh, nice rubber tires, just street tires, looks really scale. The wheels should be one nines. Um, they're glued on, the rubber, the rubber tires glued on, so can't really change that. Other than that, we have a nice, it's cedar plank floor. Uh, it's held up quite well over the abuse we've put it through, water and everything. Uh, we'll take a quick peek on the underside, which is where all the magic happens. We have, the, the frame is made out of aluminum L channel. Uh, it's been very sturdy. We used a lot of rivets to hold it together. That was the most simplistic way we could think to do it. Uh, the tricky part was figuring out how we wanted to do our axles. So what we did was we made them pivoting so you can articulate them both ways. The axles won't bottom out on the fenders or anything. So that was the best, met best method we thought of. Uh, other than that, you can see where we've started working on our lights. Those are our work in progress. We don't have them fully finished yet because we want to add a couple more and we don't want to have to cut through heat shrink to fix them. So that's just a start. We're going to add a couple more. Other than that, we'll go back up to the top side again. Uh, as you can see, we have two ramps in the back. Uh, the lights are actually on right now. Two ramps are on the back. They're held on by chains to keep them from falling down. It also helps keep the trucks in place when you put them on there. Uh, but all you do is they just fold right down. Hinges, they're just on hinges to keep them uh, where they're at. So we just fold them back up and chain them. Sorry about that. Alrighty, uh, next up is the fenders we did. We just did these a couple days ago. Uh, they, we think they turned out quite well. We scored the underside for all the bends and we thought they turned out quite well and we can fully articulate without touching. We have a very, very minimum, very close clearance there. Uh, up next, uh, the, the toolbox in the front. I know you guys are all in shock of how awesome that looks. We were pretty excited with it. It is just a, uh, it's from t Tractor Supply. Uh, it's a gift card box. We converted it into a, uh, the, the box that holds our chains and straps to hold on trucks. Also we have in here is our light control, just a 9 volt battery, they're 9 volt LEDs. We have the on off switch to control them. So that's a pretty simple uh, design, we thought it was a good idea. Uh, other than that, you're wondering how it hooks up because that's the question everyone has is how do you attach it to your truck. This, uh, this is, came with a hitch that I ordered off Amazon for my deadbolt. It is a uh, it just came with a hitch. It was, um, I can't remember the name of it right now. We can post it. We'll post a link for it uh, in the video below. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. And if you have any other questions, let us know. It's me again. I thought I would uh, show you exactly what it looks like when it is hooked up to the truck. Uh, and I remember that the hitch is a GPM racing uh, aluminum alloy hitch from Amazon. That's where I picked it up at. Uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty neat hitch. I mean, it's a bumper too. The bumper you have uh, holes for the lights. Uh, but what's really cool is you get the full articulation with a real, real ball. And it can go just about as far as you would on any other trailer and truck. So, thanks for watching again. Have a good day.